Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial today. It's going to be looking at 3D sounds and how these actually work. So, um, a lot of people don't actually take advantage of 3D sounds, and when you bring in a sound, you can either choose to make it 2D or 3D. Uh, 2D being, no matter where you have it and you're seeing it, it'll always be the same volume. Whereas 3D is sort of a, an example of spatial sound, and usually the further away you get from a 3D or spatial sound, the less you will likely hear it. Now, there's a few different examples of the type of ones that you can use. So, all I've got here in my scene is I've got some barrels which are from the PBR, a free PBR barrel pack which you can find on the asset store and I just got a gas uh, burner sort of stereo 4 sort of audio effect so you could hear that. I will show this again on my fire complex particle effect. You only need to do is you can add an component, add a new component, add audio source if this is where you choose to add your audio which is probably a good place to sort of keep it unless you have them sort of hovering above something else. You'll get the default settings as they are now. So what you can do is you can drag your audio or any of the audio that you've got there which you might have cut down and clipped out and you can put it in the audio source, the audio clip slot. You can choose whether to um, mute it, bypass any of the effects. Usually you'll want something like a particle effect like this if it's the fire burns all the time. It's to play on a wake and then you want it to loop so it's always making a loop as long as you've looped the audio yourself. You can leave the priority as it is. You can leave the volume as one because you can adjust that um, if you really needed to. Uh, you can leave the pitch and the stereo pan the same because they're only if you want to make tweaks to some of, you know, like the pitch to make it higher or lower if you really need to do that. But the big thing that you want to look at is the spatial blend and that's where you can choose to set whether it's 2D or 3D. Now it's normally by default set to 2D so we'll slide that all the way across so we make it a 3D sound so what we expect is to have some fall off over time. You can set a reverb zone if you choose to do that but now we're more interested in the actual 3D settings and we have a graph down here and the graph indicates the fall off that we'll have over time and you can leave the effects and the spread as they are by default but you can choose to adjust the roll off the min and the max distances with depending on how far and how far away that you'll be able to hear the sound and it's based on this graph and it will show you a few things i will link the unity documentation all about the audio sources and the effects which you can have a look at over time but we've got three different sort of volume roll offs which is just sort of pre-made ones by default which are most commonly used We've got the logarithmic roll off and what that means is it's a sound which is loud when you're up really close but the further away you get from it it decreases in sound a lot faster than the other roll off so we'll leave it on this for now and you can see that this little um, indication here you can just about see the box that we've got this little circle and that's the actual minimum distance of the audio that we've got which is normally set to one and it's just based on within the minimum distance the that sound should actually stay rather loud and then as you sort of move away from that minimum distance it will sort of attenuate and the sound will decrease so you can essentially make this minimum distance larger if you want to make that sound louder because you'll be able to hear it sort of at its most loud furthest away so we'll leave out one for now and then you've got something called the max distance and then the max distance works by the it's the distance where the sound actually stops attenuating and beyond that point it will stay at the volume of which you set sort of the max distance units so if we choose to do um if we so if we choose to do the fall off all the way to zero um, at the end it will cut off after we get outside of that max distance so we can use that as a way to decide that if we're at say at these other barrels over here then we want the sort of the sound to attenuate away all altogether so you can see the max distance is currently 500 and that's too big so what you can do is you can when you pull that all the way back you might have to pull it back quite a far away and you can actually then see me making this bounding bigger and we can set it to sort of maybe just behind those barrels and that's just around say 14 and a half and you can see the curve here that it starts off high and attenuates quite fast down to a sort of low level and it doesn't ever um, you know disappear so what I'll do is I'll play this and then you can listen out for what happens and so what we do when we play is that you'll be able to hear the sound and we're sort of in the middle now if we get closer you can hear that it actually got louder and as we get further away 
it will get quieter as it attenuates away. And when we get sort of past the barrels, it doesn't ever get any quieter than, you know, we actually specified until we get really close again. But what we can do on the actual audio effect is if on this graph, we can just set that attenuation curve all the way to the very bottom. So when we get outside it, it will just cut out so you can hear it here. And as I move away past these barrels, you can't hear the sound at all. Only when I move back in and get really close, can you hear it if I'm out of that zone? I can't hear it anymore. So similar with that is that we've got another thing that's quite a nice one if you want to do the attenuation uh, under a curve. And you can adjust the curve as you want to because it'll move to a custom roll off at that point and you can, you know, adjust it here. So for some reason, if you wanted it to get really loud sort of at the midpoint, you could do that. But we've got another example is we've got linear roll off and linear roll off is just as I've sort of specified with the previous one, a type of roll off, which is just the further away you are from the actual audio source, the less you will hear it. It's because it just attenuates from being fully loud gradually, gradually over time until you get to nothing. It won't. So it gradually does it more over time rather than being a big attenuation when you get say halfway and then you get all the way to the end. So it's you know whatever you decide to do. And then you have your custom roll off like, like I said if you edit the curve then you can create your own roll off and on your curve you can add new keys and you can adjust as you need to. However you need the um, actual curve to go so you can have spikes in it lower a place and it depends on what you need to do. So really all 3D sounds are making sure that you've got the spatial up to 3D. You choose the specific um, uh, logarithmic or linear roll off and you can adjust that roll off according to however you want it to be. You can use the min and max distance to decide um, at what minimum distance you want to hear the sound and the sort of maximum distance you want to hear the sound and you can choose the different the sort of two main roll offs to decide if you want it to attenuate um, with the linear one just gradually over time all the way to zero so when you get outside of the max distance you won't be able to hear it anymore which might be good for say running water or things that you hear all the time or the logarithmic one when it'll um, be really loud when you're close and as you get further as you get just a little bit away it will attenuate quite fast and become quite quiet so then maybe that can be another one it just depends on the situation because if it's a very um, subtle sound very small sound the uh, logarithmic one might be very good let's say it's some sparks or something that you might only hear in one room and it doesn't really so that's pretty much just the basis to the sort of 3d sounds and the effects that you can do so hopefully this helped you out thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe Cheers.